Hey, good morning, guys. My name is Calvin Ouellette. I'm the CEO of the New England B2B Networking Group. Today's business networking tip is called Yes5. So last week, I had a friend send me a request to like her business page on Facebook. So I sent the message, I'm like, great, you started your own business. And her response was, yeah, but it's just it's a small corner of a store. And I, when I saw it, I just kind of was deflated. I'm like, there's no yeah, but to this guy. You started your own business. That's incredible. Because a lot of people want to do it and just never get around to it. So, you know, I see this happen a lot. You know, someone goes out and starts a business. And then they have that yeah, but. Yeah, but I'm only doing it part time. Yeah, but I only have one or two clients. Yeah, but something. And I'm like, there's no yeah buts. You did it. You started your own business. And that's incredible. Congratulations to you. There's a lot of people watching who want to start their own business, but they also have a yeah but. Yeah, but I don't have time. And if you're going to use that excuse, I mean, I am going to call you out on it because I want to say you probably do have time. When people say that to me, I'm like, hey, write down everything you did for 24 hours. Is there any time in it you could have done something to start your business? Could you have gotten up an hour early? And it's really funny when I say that to people like, you want me to get up early? Like, yes. And if you're not willing to do that, then entrepreneurship might not be for you. Can you stay up an hour later? Well, I got to get my nine hours, Kevin. Again, entrepreneurship might not be for you. So you got to be careful of your yeah buts in the opposite direction of just being negative. You know, I respect that, you know, some of us need to have a full-time job benefits. We got obligations. I'm cool with that. Totally respect it. But can you find time in your day? nights, weekends, whenever, to just launch a business slowly. You know, I have people, you know, well, you know, I need space. Can you do it out of your basement? You know, can you, you know, share space with somebody who's willing to give you a corner, you know, put a desk in or something? There's ways around it, guys. You have to look at what you're saying, your yeah buts. And I, I just call it hold the mirror up to yourself and saying, is that legitimate? You know, can I go around that? And if you can, then go around it. And like I said, I've yet to really come across someone who has a legitimate yeah, but, you know, hey, I'm working, I'm already working two or three jobs. Okay, maybe I'm going to give you a mulligan on that. But you got to do what you got to do to make it happen. I get a friend, who, he's a personal trainer, but he also works delivering newspapers because he's like, you know, my goal is to be a personal trainer. I have a couple of clients. I need to subsidize that way. I build my, my business. Totally cool. It's willing to do what it takes. Are you? That's the big question today. So next time you hear yourself say, yeah, but, first of all, congratulations for starting your business. Don't dismiss it with a yeah, but. And if you're watching this and you've been meaning to start a business, I hope this is the video that gives you the courage to do it. As always, guys, appreciate you watching. If we're not connected on social media, send me a connection request. I'd love to connect with you. If you want to talk about business networking, I'd love to talk to you about it. So send me a message. If you're interested in in-person events, you can find them at Friends of Kevin, as well as NewEnglandB2Bnetworking.com. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a truly dazzling day.